Hey, it's Chippy from ultrabooknews.com here at IDF 2012. Um, we're at the wireless charging stand here and uh, we just had a little demo, a little chat to the Intel engineers about the wireless charging uh, solution uh, they're working on. Um, they've licensed some technology to a company called IDT who are creating uh, integrated um, wireless charging solutions that aren't uh, actually in devices today but uh, are being developed for sort of 2013 time frame. Got a demo here of a couple of devices with a retrofit uh, Samsung smartphone and uh, Asus Aspire here and uh, very simply it's placed the device close to the uh, Ultrabook and you've got charging going, it, going there. There's a little bit of uh, what they call positional flexibility here. Um, as you move away efficiency drops off of course but you do have the ability to you know, at least not have to follow a very fine set of um, guidelines as to where you place uh, the device. This is passing a couple of watts over here. I don't quite know what the standard is capable of delivering, but uh, enough to charge a, a smartphone and uh, potentially a tablet over a period of time as well. There's a couple of issues that need to be thought about. I mean, the main one is, you know, if you're not on battery power, uh, you're going to have to watch carefully um, how much this actually drains from your battery. Although there's two watts going over here, there's quite some inefficiencies going on in here. We're probably talking about four or five watts that has been drained from your battery. And when you're um, just typing away on an Ultrabook, you're only taking seven or eight watts anyway, so you're putting another 50% load on that battery. Uh, so there's a tool Intel I've got here that uh, basically makes sure it doesn't start charging when the la that top battery is below a certain level. So you can give yourself a, a bit of protection there. Um, so as I said, 2013 technology, it's interesting to see this uh, being developed. Uh, it's definitely a value add. Uh, if you're buying, for example, a set of devices from a single manufacturer, or, you know, the Intel ecosystem, it's just a value add for customers that are uh, having compatible devices. Standards are an issue. There are a number of wireless charging standards at the moment. This is one of them, so it is possible you get a device that doesn't work with this system, but uh, hopefully the standards, people will work that out over the next uh, next years. It's early days. Wireless charging demo then at uh, IDF 2012, San Francisco. This is Chippy from ultrabooknews.com. But the engine we'd like to use...